Hello Capricorn, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. I know I'm a little bit late, right? Yesterday was Earth Day and today is Water Day. So you're sharing Water Day with Earth Day. <laughs> Thank you so much for being patient with me while I had the girl had to take a day off. That's all it was. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. We are looking at the wisdom of the oracle first. I'm just going to throw a couple of these. Then we're going to follow it up with tarot. Capricorn, if you are here for the first time and you are brand, brand new, welcome to this place. Ten of cups on the, on the roof. I don't know if you saw it when you walked in, but we are a happy bunch. We like each other. We like to be in the comments and we are creating a community here. So if you're interested in that, then please, please subscribe. If you are someone, my rider does who is always clicking and viewing and uh, subscribing and the thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for doing that. And if you are someone who comes by and watches and clicks every week anyway, but you have not yet subscribed, I hope you'll do that because it does make a difference in how the algorithm sees this channel. And um, thank you so much for um, being in the comments and uh, you will be helping this channel grow if you like the programming. All right, Capricorn, here we go. It's for the week ahead, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about my earth cousins. I am your Taurus sun sister. And uh, here we go. Let's talk about it. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's coming up in the week ahead for Capricorn. We do have why. You have questions. Questions that I feel are about to be answered. Um, tell me more about why. It's card number 31. You're about to get some sort of stability. Peace. I like it. We do have card number 23. It is a five. And I think you come from this energy of feeling a little bit in lack. I feel that the questions that you have are going to be answered and you will be at peace. I feel like for now that maybe you're kind of restless, but peace is coming. I want to tell you if you're feeling in lack and you have unanswered questions, you're about to get stability and answers. And and the answers themselves are going to give you peace. Now, I don't know if you'll agree with them or whether you won't, but it feels like that there is something that is about to be birthed here. And it feels like it's very grounded and stable and sturdy. We're looking at green energies here, which is Capricorn energy, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it feels like maybe you've been carrying around, like we've got the dove in the air and they're carrying, it looks like, hmm, it almost looks like, holly like christmas holly and so uh it feels like this bird oh you might be finding feathers okay so for somebody here that i'm connecting with if you're the one finding feathers i want to say that you're about to get the answers to the questions that you have and it is going to bring you peace but i want to say that when you find white feathers particularly on the ground wherever you are i feel like that is an indication that that your peace is around the corner. Love is, um, it, you're going to, you're going to feel in peace as though you are in love. Does that make sense? Because it feels like it's a, it's a feeling of everything is right in the world, but it is the feeling of peace. And I don't necessarily know that this is love, but we'll, we'll clarify. We've got chaos and conflict. So I feel like this is the place that you're removing yourself from. I want to say that you were pretending to be someone who you weren't in order to keep things in balance or keep things um, solid and sturdy, like um, give yourself some, some stability here. But I want to say that you, you're asking yourself, why did I even bother doing that? Because you aren't, you aren't a giraffe or a horse or whatever we're looking at here. You are the zebra. It's time for you to take off whatever candy coating you've been showing the world in order to be sweet. It feels like somebody is becoming authentic. We have card number 33. And um, that tells me that something new is coming and the new thing that's here is you. I feel like you're finding answer to your questions, which brings you to peace, which allows you to be authentic. You're at the fork in the road. You're like, am I gonna can, can, gonna keep on letting people think who I am? Am I gonna start, am I gonna keep showing this facade, this costume, am I going to keep showing that to people or am I really going to get down to it and, and decide to be authentic? I feel like you're going to decide to be authentic. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Let's use these ones here. It's called the Moonchild Tarot. Given to me by a Capricorn, in fact were a gift. All right, here we go. 
tell me about what's going on with Capricorn in the week ahead. Whenever you find this reading, Capricorn, it's always going to be for the week ahead, whether that is tomorrow or a year from now. It's always going to be for the week ahead. Their predictions. Tell me what's coming up in the week ahead for Capricorn, please. We do have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups to me is a mother or a father, somebody who might be a matriarch. It's feminine leading energy, but understand that the uh, this person also has uh, masculine energy. We all do, people, plants, and animals. Oh, we have the moon child. There we go. It feels like your whys are being answered. And the reason that your why is being answered is because you've chosen to connect to the universe. So connect to your source through prayer, uh, through uh, meditation possibly. But the moon child is the one who is realizing that they are made of stardust, that they are part of the universe, that this person realizes now that they are um, this spiritual being who is in this body only for the sake so that because the body protects the soul. There's no way that, that we could get all of these things done and learn all of these lessons in this earthly um, this earthly ground here if we were not, if we didn't have physical bodies. So it feels like you realize that when you look in the mirror, Capricorn, that behind those eyes, there is a being that you are just now beginning to get in contact with or accepting that there is that you are not what you look like, but who you are is actually behind those eyes in the mirror. That's what it feels like here. I feel like you're starting to love yourself, realizing that you are this beautiful energetic being that is just being encased by this body that you have that has been borrowed to you in order to keep the soul safe we do have uh, the king of swords energy it's the thought pattern it feels like it feels like you have come to a realization or that you are now thinking more cerebrally your questions are being answered but understand you had all these questions you kept asking that one what is the answer to my question what is the answer to my question i feel like it was always within you the answer was always within you. And once you become more cerebral thinking about it, I feel like with the King of Swords energy, you start to look at it in more of a less of a woo woo way, I'm going to say, uh, and, and you look at it more of a factual way. Well, yeah, why am I here? Like, why do I have this body? Why was I incarnated here? You start to ask questions, and as you ask the questions, they are answered by this moon child energy, your realization that you come here from somewhere else, and that possibly, maybe you even planned it. Maybe you are the coach, and you laid out all the playbook, and you said, okay, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it as a Capricorn. Maybe as a Capricorn with uh, Aquarius moon and um, a water sign rising. We've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Maybe that's your moon. And we do have the Queen of Cups, uh, which is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. That could be a rising, vice versa. You could have those energies. Maybe these are two other people. Take it as it resonates. This could be mother and father, possibly. We do have the Six of Cups. We have the Five of Wands, and we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I like it. We do have the Devil energy here in the future. So I want to say with the Six of Cups, it's telling me that you that you are kind of looking back nostalgically. It's hard to say that. You're kind of looking back with nostalgia, and you're looking back into the past. And so it feels like you are looking into the past now with this cerebral energy you're in an energy of learning i want to say that you now see things clearly for what they were you're now taking things in and thinking about it and it feels like you're looking into the past and what you're seeing in the past is that you still have nostalgic love for someone but you're looking at it more of um, a cerebral head over heart kind of way now i want to say that with the five of wands that you still fight yourself with what's been going on back here i feel like you may have you might have left a soulmate back here and sometimes we have to do that because the soulmate chooses not to be healed or they have not yet had their awakening or they can't see things that you can see i think that now that you are in peace and that's the truth of it right it's like the corporate world is designed to drown out our intuition so hoping that we don't figure out who we are they just try and keep us 
uh, entertained with TikTok, with YouTube, with with whatever's going on, work and 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 trying to achieve, 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 buy houses and cars, and and finally, when we get into a realm of peace we start to get the answers because we do decide to sit down on the 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 prayer pillow or the meditation pillow and we decide to get our own answers and when you become cerebral about it you see why this happened in the past and that was to teach you something so please if you don't if you haven't yet seen the lesson of this six of cups and the queen of cups if you haven't yet seen this lesson of why you had to leave this love back there this person you thought was a soulmate i feel like you still fight yourself about it but i feel you're going to come to an understanding here we do have the ace of wands and i want to say that when you do come to the understanding that is when you are going to be able to move forward on on a different path look in the in the in the future here we do have the the six of wands and the devil i want to say that you were very attracted to this person um the person that that you are still trying to reconcile the thoughts about uh the six six of wands is someone who is used to getting a lot of attention because they're very good looking and um this person I feel ended up being the devil. And I don't think that they are the devil. I think that they ended up being the devil energy, that they had some obsessive things that were um, that they would do because of this, because people gave them a lot of attention. They might be good looking, maybe a little egoic. This is also the energy of stepping across the finish line finally. This person may have had a lot of achievements or this person may have had a lot of um, trauma in their past and felt like with you in their life that they could overcome anything but I feel like eventually they slip back into the devil energy and the devil energy is obsession they might have had an obsession about the way they looked or maybe they they go from person to person to person because they get a lot of attention and they're not used to being told no it feels like in the future it feels like you are reconciling this you're healing this that it's time for you with the star energy to finally heal the way that this situation played out because i don't think it was good for you i do feel that you left deep love in the past but i think that you needed to do it tell me uh why tell me what the questions are tell me what the answers are that you are getting while you're in this moon child energy here we do have the wheel of fortune there we go so it is time to change it's time for you to change how you feel right it's time to change your feelings about the situation it's time for you to change your mind it's time for you to change the way you look at yourself and stop arguing with yourself that it could have ever been any other way it could never have been any other way and that's the truth of it i feel so we do have the wheel of fortune and that is faded changes it's positive change but first it's going to piss you off because it's got to be a lot of hard changes and i think that one of the things that you needed to get out of your way is this love connection you had to this person who i feel was quite toxic tell me about the wheel of fortune so this relationship had to end because of the wheel of fortune the seven of cups while you're going through all of these changes and things are falling apart it's confusing it's emotionally overwhelming it is really confusing and then we have the eight of wands um, and the eight of wands tells me that it's all moving too quickly why is it all happening because of the wheel of fortune because it's time for things to change it's time for things to get better for you it's faded times and it's um uh, divine timing and things will get better but first they're going to piss you off right they're going to get worse before they get better things are going to change in order to bring in what your manifestations are whatever is old must go must go away whatever is new must arrive and i feel like you are far more cerebral or thinking about things in a far more logical way than you used to and i feel like this trio here is giving you peace tell me about this here i feel like you're you're now thinking about things and it feels like now you understand or have a factual understanding of why things had to go the way they did, right? The moon energy is here, the death energy is here, and then we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like the reason 
that you have peace now is because we do have the um, the moon energy here and it feels like with the moon energy and the death energy you now see things clearly you are no longer in this muddy moon energy where you can't really see anything and you can't make decisions i feel like the reason you're in the king of swords energy whether you're feminine or masculine is not only because you've come to know who you really are behind your eyes in the mirror but because the fog has lifted, the darkness has lifted. And I feel like it's only because you chose to see things clearly that um, that you that this energy has dissipated, I want to say. So you end up having peace because the moon energy is no longer here. You don't feel confused. You're not it's like you weren't really sure how things were going to work out, but the devil or the death energy is here saying that there is transformation. The eight uh, the eight of pentacles in the reverse tells me is that you needed to stop putting work in on this because you kept working and working and working and you were getting nowhere you weren't working on yourself you were working on this and when it's in the upright the eight of pentacles is about working on you or putting the hard work in i feel like you stopped putting energy into this tell me about this we do have the justice card yeah that's what it was the ending is the justice my friend that you were living in the five of pentacles back here you were living in in complete depletion it, you're you're feeling disconnected even within the relationship and you knew that it had to come to an end but you weren't you weren't ready to do it and we can never do anything until we're ready to do it and so then we do have justice it feels like you did get justice here um because I feel like you did finally pull away or close this chapter here of feeling and lack. And I think that the only reason that you put up with this energy back here um, of this um, unhealed soulmate, I feel like you still deeply love them. But I feel like the only reason you put up with it is because of um, the Five of Pentacles. You thought that that was all you deserved. But then you close the door and you realize that that this is an achievement, a milestone for you. Knowing your worth is, an, is a milestone. How do you know your worth? With the moon child energy. I love it. Justice is here. You gave yourself justice and you close the door on this soulmate connection, even though you felt sad about it. I feel like there are still days when you fight yourself about it that you wish you could have had victory. We have one ace uh, of wands and we have the five of wands. Some days you fight with yourself and wish you could have this back or wish you could just move forward here. Tell me how Capricorn's going to move forward. The tower. So things must change. Again, it's about change, right? You can't always do what you always did and get a different result. Doing what you always did, you're going to get what you always got. So that's why the tower shows up. It is complete and total mercy. You've got to stop ruminating on the reasons why this thing didn't work out. The tower is here to throw down the illusion that you had built. The illusion that this was something good for you. It was not something good for you. We have the two of swords. The tower is also pulling down any blocks that you had. If you've been trying to make decisions um, and you've ha got blocks and not able to make the decision to stop arguing with the self, I feel like the tower is here to, um, to break that all down too and give you some wisdom. I feel like you no longer have any mental blocks, that the, the tower is here to throw down the illusion that you had built. You don't need this anymore. And I feel like you see something clearly. And what you see clearly here is that in order to get out of this Two of Swords energy, you must slip into the Hermit energy. And that means you have to gain wisdom over this situation. The Knight of Swords is telling me that you do. It's telling me now you understand it. Now that you're looking at it in a logical way, that you're being very brave and looking the tower straight in the face, you're like, let it fall. I'm tired of being heartbroken. The ace is in the hand of the knight, and then we have the two of swords. I'm tired of feeling heartbroken. Tell me about the ace of wands. We have the nine of pentacles, so you grow. Um, it feels like you do grow, that there is... Um, the Nine of Pentacles tells me you become more confident, stable. It feels like your pentacles are getting better. Your world is stabilizing. The Nine of Wands tells me that um, you are at the end of cycles here. The Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. You're about to hit the Ten Pentacles, which is everything you need in abundance, whether no matter what that is, a job, promotion, love, long-term relationship, whatever it is. But I want to say that this is what is arriving. We do have the Three of Wands telling me the ships that are coming in is um, 
uh, the last wand for the Nine of Wands because we have the wand here. Nine and one is ten. You get to drop the burdens here and you end up single and abundant here, my friend. But I want to say that there is some sort of a... Um, partnership coming in and it is a stable grounded partnership look at you it feels like um that there is uh, somebody who is coming in here uh, the knight of pentacles tells me that it, they are taking their time but there is a slow moving um solid grounded dependable relationship that's coming in that will arrive in the moment of alchemy and um yeah we'll just leave it there i feel like something is coming in for you but first you will be pissed off because of the Wheel of Fortune changing everything up in your life. It's really a, a tower and the Wheel of Fortune coming in the same time is an upheaval. So there can be change. So you can see what was on the other side of the tower. It's a realization that you were stuck and that you need to get out of this energy of feeling heartbroken or disappointed. It's time for you to gain the wisdom over that situation. You could be dealing with Virgo energy. We do have... Uh, we do have uh, energy of temperance, which is Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo energy. And um, yeah. Oh, we do have Libra. And again, we have fixed signs. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra. Scorpio is here as well. All right. There it is. Thank you, Capricorn, for watching. I will go for now, but I'll be back because I am always back. Love you guys. I'm out for now. Bye-bye.